Alright guys, what is going on? We are doing another video, but this time it's on a car that no one's actually seen any installs on. And it's a Wolfpack member. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little walk around of this car so that I can show you the bits on this car and then we're going to get to the install. So yeah. Right, so let's get to the install. Basically, this is a 2003 Vauxhall Corsa. It's the 1.4. It's a really, really nice car. Really cool color. And what we are doing on it today, this is only a little, little install. We are going to be putting the Wolfpack window banner on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce you to the owner of this car so that they can give you a little talk through of this car and let you know what has been done to it and what we will be doing to it. So ready? Oh hey guys, did you miss me? <laughs> Back at it again. Right, so this, for those of you that have seen it before, is my baby. Um, still haven't decided on a name for it yet. I'm torn between a couple, I'm gonna keep that a secret, but that's not the big issue here. Um, as you can see, the car has been lowered. It's, for those of you who know the sound of it, um, what it's got on it is it's got a Hoffman straight through pipe. Um, no back box or nothing, which at first I thought it was a back box, but looked under it, straight through. Um, all of this sticker bomb inside the car, that was already, that was already done to it when I, when I got the car. Um, there's not really much you can do to this car, like engine wise, unless I had, I was like fully loaded, I had about five grand to piss about and just done a complete engine swap on it. But I think for the moment, this is probably gonna be one of the two Wolfpack promo kind of cars for the time being. Um, but as you saw in the video, you've got, got the Wolfpack logo here, just above the light. Sorry for the dirtiness of the car. Um, on the back as well. You've got Wolfpack right above where the tail light is. And as well as the old Shutter Gang. Shutter Gang, shout out to Shutter Gang, love your meats. And then the ones that we put, uh, that we got from Northfield, three for a fiver. But did you die? Cause people complained about my driving. Because of my exhaust, because louder than your girlfriend last night, that's fucking jokes. And the creme de la creme, right on the door handle. I love milfs. Um. Yeah. What so what are we going to be doing today? Today we're putting the window banner on the car, which is going to go right there, nice across, represent. Um, at some point we're going to fix this fucking roof. Fix I mean, this you roof. Can probably see there's some issues with the paint on the roof and yeah. a few dings and dents. A few dings as well. and dents. But what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the roof black. Although we have to spray it black first. We're going to have to fix the dents and stuff, sand yeah. it all down, spray it, and then paint the thing black. There's also a ding here that you can see. Yeah. Um, so we're just gonna deal with those little dings and dents and whatnot, and then we're gonna uh, spray this, fill it all in, and yeah. then what color black are we doing it? Will we doing it matte or satin black? Um, I think matte black would, would look a bit off because the car's not really matte. It's like a, it's like a metallic color, so it wouldn't really look. So you're gonna look for a flat black rather than a matte black. Yeah. So more like the uh, wheels that are possibly coming for the Miata that no one knows about so far. So no, keep an eye out for if those. We do it the same color as my rims. Uh, your rims are matte though. Yeah, these are matte. Yep. Is it? They're oh, they're yeah, matte black. Yeah, yeah. 
they are matte. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna do like do the roof, but today we are just gonna be focused on in this area here. So I'm gonna hand you over to Steph, and then we are gonna get on with the install. So uh, because I've already done this once on my car, I'm gonna do it, and he's gonna video for me. So right, let me hand you over. Yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you what you need to stick this on. So first of all, we've got one of these fibre rags, uh, basically to clean the window and whatnot. We've got some blue tape, that's so that you can find the centre. Some window cleaner, and then we've got the banner. I'm not going to show you the banner until it's on the car, so yeah. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to get the cloth and the cleaner. And clean this and dirty clean girl. This dirty fucking car. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to... Give probably, it a good spray. Probably doesn't help that I haven't washed this car in about a month. Well, maybe it's more. it's been off the road, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it's been off. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to say, basically, for those of you that know from before when we went to that really shit meet, um, basically- no, no names. No names. Um, but basically, my gearbox fucked somehow. I must have went over a pothole because this country is notorious for its lovely potholes. Yep. Um, must have gone over it really quick. It shattered the subframe underneath, which then bent upwards, uh, which meant it kind of pushed the gearbox up, wasn't allowing oil to go into the gearbox, which basically meant that I lost all my gears. The whole thing had to come out. Got a brand new gearbox out of it though, and now she runs smoother than before. But yeah, she needs a, she needs a wash. I was gonna wash it today, but I just really could not be bothered. We've had other things today. Yeah, we've had other things. Other miscellaneous bits and bobs. Right, so, now your window's all clean. Yeah. You get this blue tape. You get the blue tape. And you find the center. Okay, how'd you find the center? I'm gonna do it from the back. Okay. Right. Let's follow. Where you find the center from the back is, from the badge, or from the window wiper. Yeah. Stick it on like that. Yeah. Run it up there. Okay. I'm going to need you to take the second one, so take hold of that. Line it up with that. Hang on. Teamwork. Got it? Yeah. Uh, and... Line it. Got it? Yep. Stick it down. Uh huh. Stick it down. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, it looks pretty lined to me. Right, there you go, that's all lined up. Then what you can do is, tear it off at the top. Now you know roughly where it's gonna go. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tear it slightly higher. Professional. Right, so that's all torn off. Then what you need to do is, you take the banner off of paper, like so, trying to get all the design stuck onto it. Lovely stuff. Normally this is a two person job, but I'm going to do it by myself today, because obviously Steph is on the camera, like a pro. So I did. And you're gonna line up the center. Yeah. Have you fucked it? Nah, you good? Good. It's good. Is that the one? That's looking like it's the one, mate. Right, it's never gonna be perfectly straight purely because his window isn't perfectly straight. Yeah. But the way these are designed is, it's designed with a banner. So when you peel it off, you can either peel the, the, the frame off of it, or you uh, You just have the writing. So that you just have the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a rub down, rub all the bu bubbles out of it, 
Yeah, make sure if you are doing this, you do rub it down properly. And if you have like maybe your debit card or something, just just smooth over it. Like this? Yep. Because that way it gets rid of all the air trapped inside. You want it nice and smooth. Yep. Don't be afraid to go a bit hard on it because it's not as if like your debit card or card is going to scratch the window. If you're worried about the card scratching the window, then you you've get got yourself some. a bit of rag. Yeah. You fold it over your card like so. Yep. And you get an elastic band and you wrap it around like that. That way you can still have it pushing all the air out of it. And that will be done like that. Then what you do is from the corner that you left up, which is that one there on this car, you go like so. You slowly peel it off, trying not to lose any of it. Yeah. That's looking nice already. Right. And don't do it all from one side because you aren't going to have the space to do so. so. What you do is you then go around the other side, slowly peeling it off. Watch the hand movements. Don't rip it all off in one go because you will end up peeling the whole thing off it's, and it's, it will fuck up. It's not a it's not a band-aid situation like a plaza, you just slowly, you don't rip that shit off. It's all the way go. off, and then the banner comes off as well, unless you want to keep it on. And that is your window done. Then and wash. Then it's a matter of taking off the tape that you use to align, like so. And again on the back. And there you go. Finished and voila! Product. So now you've got the wolf pack right there on the tail light, and then you've got. The wolf pack on the headlight, looking good, and then bang, bang. That is represent level 100. So yeah, that is basically your final product. The whole thing done, nice and lined up with this black tan line from the window, so yeah. Right, so guys, that is basically the install. I hope you like what you saw. It's, yeah. it's probably a very e easy, self-explanatory thing, but we thought we'd show you anyway because we don't want you fucking up the Wolfpack banners on your car and having to buy new ones and waste the money on it. So yeah, yeah. if any of you liked the Wolfpack uh, headliner or the, the windscreen give sticker, it thumbs up. Give, it, give this video a thumbs up. The description in the bottom, yep. you can buy your own. Mm -hmm. They're only a couple of quid, so they're not bad at all. You can get them in, was it black and white? Black, white, red, and blue. So yep. yeah, if you want any of them, description is all the details that you Down need. There. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.